Welcome to New York. Now give me all your money. That's what it can feel like renting an apartment in this town. New Yorkers who have been renting in the city for a long time already know the upfront costs of moving into a new apartment can leave you staggering. Whether you're new to New York or have lived here for a while, we hope to shine a light on the rental process and help you better understand what to expect. We'll break down the upfront and ongoing fees that New York City renters typically face and provide some tips to help you keep costs down. I'm Carlo Romero, and welcome back to Street Easy Homeschool. It's no secret that the New York City rental market is both competitive and expensive. Our goal is to empower you with knowledge so you can make informed financial decisions and navigate the rental market with confidence. Here's what we'll cover today. How much New York City renters typically pay up front? What fees make up these upfront costs? Ongoing fees renters may face? And tips for minimizing fees? For a quick look at some data, let's start with StreetEasy senior economist, Kenny Lee. According to StreetEasy data, the average New York City renter spent $10,454 in upfront costs in 2023, amounting to 14% of the city's median household income. As Kenny mentioned, there's no question that the upfront costs for renters can be significant. But what are the various fees that make up this average of over $10,000? Before we dive in, a quick note that the fees and policies mentioned can vary by building, so it's important to check with the agent or management company to get fee information for the unit you're considering. The largest upfront expense is often the broker fee, which is a commission paid to the agent. Broker fees typically range from one month's rent to 12 to 15% of the annual rent. This can end up being a considerable amount of money. For example, a 15% broker fee for a $3,000 apartment comes out to $5,400. However, there are some apartments that won't require you to pay a broker fee. These are known as no-fee listings. No-fee listings typically mean the agent is being compensated by the landlord or that the apartment is for rent by owner. One finding from our research is that New Yorkers who paid a broker fee likely spent 43% more in upfront expenses on average than those who secured a no-fee apartment. It's important to note that broker fees are negotiable, so if you feel comfortable, work with the agent to negotiate the fee down to a level that feels manageable and fair. Another upfront cost for renters is the application fee, which typically covers the cost of a credit check that is part of the approval process. In 2019, New York State moved to cap application fees for rental buildings at $20. But keep in mind, condo and co-op buildings don't have to adhere to this cap. So if you're renting from an individual owner in these types of buildings, application fees can be significantly higher. The same general rules apply to the next renter fee on our list, security deposits. The security deposit is a fee paid upon lease signing that may be returned when you move out if the unit remains in good condition. Security deposits are capped at one month's rent under New York state law, but again, that only applies to rental buildings. For more info on security deposits in New York state, visit the link in the video description. Renters will often be required to make an advance rent payment upon lease signing, which can be weeks before the move-in date. This is also capped at one month's rent for rental buildings, so you'll pay either the first month's rent or last month's rent, but not both. Other upfront costs that renters may come across include pet fees and amenity fees. These are generally one-time or annual fees that tend to range anywhere from $500 to half a month's rent, depending on the building's policies. As we mentioned, there can be significant differences in upfront costs if you rent in a condo or co-op building instead of a rental building. Renters there may face higher application fees and security deposits, and sometimes are required to pay move-in fees, which cover minor maintenance work to prepare for a new tenant. Move-in fees generally cost between 20 and 50% of one month's rent. Next, let's talk briefly about ongoing expenses. In addition to the monthly rent payment, renters will also have to pay for monthly utilities, parking if they have a car, and sometimes monthly pet rent, depending on the building's policies. When you add it all up, that's a lot of money. But there are a few ways to minimize renter fees. The first way is to remember that broker fees are negotiable and to use that to your advantage. The second is to look for no fee listings. You can check the no fee box when searching on StreetEasy to only see listings without a broker fee. Another way to minimize fees is to look only for listings in rental buildings, 
where many of the upfront costs, including application fees, security deposits, and advance rent payments are capped by state law. Finally, when considering an apartment, be sure to ask about the various fees you'll be responsible for, including any amenity fees and typical utility costs in the building. Having the full financial picture will help you make your decision. We hope this gave you a better understanding of the upfront costs of renting in New York. Again, our goal is to empower you with knowledge so you can make informed financial decisions and navigate the market with confidence. Whether you're planning to rent or buy, StreetEasy has tools and resources to support you on your journey. We look forward to helping you unlock life's next chapter. Thanks for watching.